Changed somewhat since his picture was taken. Here's our expedition request. I'm sure I'll find them all in order, Mr. Warren. But I'm sorry. The yards where Prince cannot be honored. The man remains here. You cannot refuse to hand over a criminal. We have very good reasons for that, Mr. Warren. I'll tell you a story. This story will be strange to you. But such is the Caribbean. Strange, colorful, exciting. Captain. I don't know. Sweet. Uh, where's your captain, Sweet? He's gone to the market. What's today is kept. All week he has promised to make a payment on the money he owes me. But when he has cattle to sell, he avoids me. I've chased after him long enough. He owes me 300 pounds. I want you to seize the boat in payment. Oh, no, Mr. Bianco. That I cannot do. No? What do you think I brought you here for but to help me take possession? I came only to protect you from possible violence. Yes, every time I ask for my money, Brannigan starts a fight. To seize the ship is a civil matter. You'll have to have an order from the magistrate. But that's too much red tape. Am I to be robbed while the police do nothing? I've already told you, Mr. Bianco. There's nothing I can do about it. It's a civil matter. You tell Brannigan, I am going to take his ship and smash it to pieces for salvage. No, no, Mr. Bianco. She's a fine ship. Not for salvage. You heard me. Salvage. Uh, I'll go find Captain Brannigan. You pay. Ah. You too. Watch the ship. I gotta find Captain Brady. Hey, sweet. He owes us money, too. Come on, big boy. seen Captain Brannigan? No, I haven't seen him. Oh. oh, then I know where he is. You guys stay here. Hey, buy the boys a drink. Uh, oh, Come on, I, I ain't got no money, but I'll pay you later. Look credit right did good, sweet. <laughs> Thanks. Roman Cook. Me too. <laughs> you take it so hard, boys. Hi, like that. <laughs> lucky. Hi, sweet. Captain Brannigan. What do you want, sweet? Oh. I'm sure glad you're willing, because Mr. Bianco said he'd take our ship away unless you paid him. You could give him some out of that. Bad luck to take money out during a game. You know that, Swede. Besides, the boys here wouldn't like it if I gave their money to Bianco. 
Would you, boys? I've got more important things to do with it. Haven't I, Mimi? Yeah, but you ain't even paid Domingo and Big Boy. All right, Pam. They better come back with more turtles tomorrow, I'll tell you that. And you better save some of that money for Mr. Bianco, or he'll take our ship away from us. Don't worry about it, Swede. If anything ever happened to Manfish, Brannigan, that dumb Swede would cut your throat. Let him try. Him or anybody else. Thank you. Hey, Lou, a bottle of rum. Oh, no, no. You guys had enough for today. Uh, why don't you go on back to the ship, and we'll take off the first thing tomorrow. Huh? Hey, go on. Okay. <laughs> Tropic night, you cast a spell of romance that holds you tight. Within a dangerous trance, you try to fight, and yet you haven't a chance. Beware the Caribbean, the spell is there. Look to your left and your right, it's everywhere. Oh, who would hide from the sight? Oh, but Captain, didn't you save any of them? That's right, stupid, I lost. I told you it's bad luck to take money out of the game. Oh, now Mr. Bianco's gonna take you our... You open your mouth once more about Bianco and you can find yourself another berth. Hey, Lou. Yeah. Who's the day? She's from Beta Island. She's a professor's woman. Professor? What's a professor doing on Beta Island? Oh, he's only called professor. He's a little bit... Uh... Came from England five years ago. He's a gentleman. Give me another drink, my friend. Don't you want a drink, baby? A little want, but he say no. The Caribbean. Maybe the table are both taken. I know. I just took them. <laughs> I could leave them. Captain Bailey! Gentlemen! And you, Professor, when next you come to the island, leave your woman at home. I suggest you, you leave the island without tonight. Someday, my friend, I'm going to kill you. What's the matter? Wouldn't she buy you one? Oh. Buy me a drink, sweet. Check the regulators. They're always worrying about the men. They'll take care of themselves.
you doing? Here, warn him. You stay here. you to come up. We see sharks. I'll take care of the sharks. Get back to work. Yeah, but, Captain, I told him to come aboard. Listen, sweetie. I'm giving the orders on this ship, and don't you forget it. If you don't like the way I run it, don't come out again. Sick and tired of looking at your stupid face. Yeah, but, Captain, I didn't... <laughs> You treat this tub like it was a woman. She's the only home I got. Clean it up. Clean it up, I said! I'm sweet in love with a stinking tub. I know she's your ship. Because you won her car.
Captain. Where, where'd you get this? Never mind, Swede. Get ready to pull the anchor. Uh huh. Sunrise time, the world is awaiting. Big fish swimming in the tide sea. And the fishermen cry, big fish for the saving. Big fish swimming in the tide sea. The fisherman's daughter, she says to me, I'm just a fisherman's daughter, as you see. But mark my word, if you hear me say, I'll be a big fish woman in the big, big wave water. Big fish swimming in the deep, deep water. Big fish swimming in the tide sea. Hey, 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 where are you guys going? We don't get saved, we're going to find a new job. Oh, no, no. You can't do that. You know that the man fishes is the best turtle boat in the fleet. <laughs> now, oh, oh, here, here. <laughs> you take this and go have a good time tonight, and you come back in the morning. Thank you, sweet. <laughs> Thank you, sweet. <laughs> What took you so long? What? I what? Where's the other bottle, sweet? Oh, I dropped it. Yeah. Where did you get this? This one belonged to that guy you had to fight with. No, it isn't. I found this today when I brought that bottle up. Can you read French, sweet? Oh. Well, I don't. <laughs> you dumb sweet. You can't even read Swedish. <laughs> Yeah, my father was French. 
Here. Read that. In English? The dead man stares. He guards the treasure. Who finds them both? One head is blind. One must look and the beginning and the end. Well, it doesn't make sense. Where's the rest of it? I don't know. Where did you get it? I just thought I found. I gotta go, baby. Where are you going? Business. When will I see you? A couple of days. Blood, sweet. Get ready to put in. I'll get the dinghy ready. Talk here. 
Where'd you get that ring, Professor? The ring? Why, the ring's merely a little bit of sentiment. Why do you ask? I think you'd better tell me where you found it. As you see, I found one just like it. I found it in the same place I found this. Let me see. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Professor? Where's the other half? The other half that goes with your ring. I didn't know there was another half. No, you didn't. I only found the ring. You came here from England five years ago, didn't you? You haven't spent five years out here because of a lousy ring. Why'd you stay? Why'd you stay so long? Because of Alita. Don't tell me that. Where'd you find it? Tell me! Well, I'd be glad to tell you. I, uh... I found the ring diving off the coal, off coral coal, just off the island there. Okay. I'll go down and have a look at that coral coal. Let me tell you something. I better find what I want soon, because if you're lying to me, Six o'clock, sweet. Go back to sleep.
You gave yourself away, didn't you? You got the other half of that map, Malachan! You'll never find it! mean, Professor? It means, my dear fellow, that Lafitte was somewhat more intelligent than you. Lafitte? <laughs> you are very ignorant, aren't you? Jean Lafitte, pirate, buccaneer, mathematician, and a poet of sorts. But you've never even heard of him, have you? You've never read about Jean Lafitte or Henry Morgan or Captain Kidd, who preceded him as head of all the pirates in the Caribbean. The numbers are the difficult part, Brannigan. It took me years to figure it out. It's a very clever set of directions in cold. But now with your half of the map, I'll be able to work it out in a matter of days. But that comes after the words. And you can't even translate them, can you? I'll let you do it for me, Professor. Le Mans survey. I don't understand French. No, of course not. The dead man stares from the rocky peak. He guards the treasure that live men seek. Who finds the two rings will hold the key. One death head points, but the other can see. And a wise man walks backwards until he has learned the beginning and end of the trail had been joined. This is phony. Doesn't mean a thing, this Lafitte. Ah, that's because you don't understand, Brannick. That's because you're stupid. I'm going to throw you a bone, Brannigan. Like a man throws a bone to a hungry dog. I'm going to give you the secret part of the line. A wise man walks backwards. Backwards, Brannigan. The map and everything on it in reverse. Here, turn it around so that the north points south. And there we have the island we want. The island of Hispaniola. Hispaniola? Go ahead, man. Get on with the rest of it. And die. No, thank you, Brandy. You'll know the rest when I'm ready to tell you. And from now on, we move step by step under my orders until we find what we're after. Okay, Professor. Like you said, we're partners. Then you can forget what you're thinking, partner. Because even after we find the treasure, There'll be another reason why you can't kill me. 
Now I'll get ashore and pick up a week's supplies. I've got work to do. Sweet! Sweet! Huh? Go ashore and pick up a week's supplies. You come with me, Alita. Let the genius here work. You don't have to worry about him, baby. It's not gonna hurt you. She's not afraid of being hurt, Brannigan. You've got a great deal to learn about women, my greedy friend. She's got the smell of gold in her nostrils, Lita has. She's not quite sure which one of us is going to get it. Now? You coming with me, baby? I'm tired. Brannigan! Get me another bottle of whiskey. And don't come back until I spoil you. Yes, you are a lovely thing, aren't you, Alita? And lovely things are so easily forgiven. doing down there? I said hello. Hello. Now I tell you. Until last night, he just look at maps. Now he do much writing. He wants to talk to you. Yeah? Yes, I burn the map. It's all in here now, Brannigan. All in here. There's no more map. Only my memory. You better be careful not to hit me too hard. I might forget. I've got life insurance now, Brannigan. Get out. From now on, you stay where I can watch you. You had better concern yourself about my health. You had better be very thoughtful and careful of me. I'm rather old, you know, Brannigan. Old and delicate. You should keep me out of drafts. For I might catch cold and die of pneumonia. And that would be terrible for you, Brannigan. Terrible. Because with me gone, the map and all the clues you're after would also be gone. So you'd better treat me kindly and with great tenderness. like a father. Well? Drop anchor off that far point! I... Stay aboard. It might be a little rough out there. If you leave her on board, you'd better keep your liquor locked up. She's saving up for me.
What's the matter? It's gone. There's a marker here, and it's gone. I don't believe there ever was a marker. Maybe the water washed it away. It's been over two centuries. You burned the map, and now you've forgotten. No. No, I haven't. Oh, no. Wait! Hey. my friend. Now which way? Give me a chance to think, partner. The sun, that wall, there! I'm afraid our friend up above will have to tell us, Brannigan. And I'm afraid one of us will have to go up there. You see, a line must be dropped from the left eye of the skull to give us an exact point there on the ground. Well, you heard what he said. Get going. Give him your ring to wait the line. Don't worry, Swede. That wall's only 300 years old. If it crumbles and falls, Brannigan won't be hurt. Get going. <laughs> How'd you figure that out? For the same reason that your ring has a left eye. Because a part of the code. And because I say so. Hurry right up with that line, Swede. Remember, the left eye. Don't touch it. What are you doing? I'm lining it up with my ring so that the arrow points due south. And there we have our new direction. Here. 30 paces, that would be just at the base of that old Spanish wall. Come on, Swede! I wouldn't do it, Brannigan. I might be lying to you. Besides, You'll get the treasure faster if I help you dig. Pace it off. It should be here. Right here at our feet. Unless I've made a mistake. If you have, it'll be the last one you'll ever make. Stand back. Give me that stick. Go ahead, dig, boys. Dig. Dig hard. Keep on digging, Brannigan. I right, use that shovel, please. Now dig, Brannigan. Dig hard. The faster you dig, the faster you'll get the treasure. Dig, Brannigan. That's it. Harder, Brannigan. Harder, faster, Brannigan. It's really gold. Sweet. Take a look around the island, make sure no one else is here. We'll fill in the hole and meet you back at the beach. He means he'll fill in my grave and meet you back at the beach. Go ahead. He doesn't want any witnesses, Swede. The man fish is yours. I'm giving it to you. All you gotta do is go back to the beach and wait for us. You hear me, Swede? It's yours. Uh, no. He isn't like us, Brannigan. He's got a stubborn streak of decency in him. He just won't go. Don't you worry, Swede. He still needs me. 
You didn't think I'd let my life insurance expire, did you, Brannigan? You're stalling! Am I, Brannigan? Our map was dated 1793. Lafitte continued to be a pirate for 20 years after that. This was only his first haul. How many other treasures might he have hidden, Brannigan? Remember the last line of the poem? The beginning and end of the trail are joined. <laughs> ah, yes, you'll find another map in here, Brannigan. Telling of the feet's second treasure. You'll find it underneath the gold. There's a catch, I'll explain it to you. The key to this map was in the first map, and the first map is only in my brain. In here, Brannigan, all in here. And it'll stay here only as long as I live, so you want me to live, don't you, Brannigan? All right, sweet, let's get back to the beach. Excuse me, partner, I really should carry. Something. Souvenir, baby. Nice? A little key? Sure, you can keep it. 
Too bad you're going to miss that little party of ours, Professor. You didn't have to work on that second map. There isn't going to be any second map until we get to port and dispose of that. We're not leaving here we have it all. Don't press your luck too far, Professor. I'm not letting you go ashore where I can lose you. All right, neither of us will go ashore then. We make port sweet and to can sell a few pieces. Enough to get us to Jamaica where we can dispose of all this. Well, we can skip to England. Not to England. We stay here. And our search goes on when half the money from all that is in the bank, in my name, here. Now, you better tell him to get underway. You're delaying your party. All right, Swede. Pull the anchor and head for port. Hey. You don't mind, do you, partner? <laughs> Sweet. Good morning, Professor. should bring about 300 pounds. Let them take the gold coins. They're easier to get rid of. Gold coins from the 18th century. Let every cutthroat in the waterfront know what we're after. Yeah. They're worth about 500 pounds. And they must go to someone honest. And someone smart enough to know when he's got a bargain to keep his mouth shut. Take them to Aleppo, Swede. Nobody else. Uh, Aleppo? Aleppo. And if you want to know if you're any more of this, you say no. And don't answer any other questions. <laughs> Alita.
do you figure this stuff will bring? Only about 25,000 pounds. But for this one, millions. figure out that second map, Professor. I'm losing my patience. You know, I might settle for that 25,000. I don't really need a million. Captain Brannigan. I really don't know. I think he's ashore someplace. Um, uh, what do you want to see him about? He holds me money from last time I go home. Oh, really? Well, well, why don't you just go and look for him? And when he comes back, I'll tell him you were here. I'll wait. Look, I, uh, you know, I think he has some money in that box in the cabin. Now, if he owed me money, I think I just go down and take it. But I only want what is mine. Yes, I know, I know. Well, part of what is in there is yours. Go and get it. Come on, I won't stop you. There's no money in the box. Oh, really? Well, that's, that's too bad. Um, look, um, uh, how much does he owe you? Fifteen shillings. Fifteen shillings. Well, here, I'll pay you myself. Here. Go on, take it. I'll collect it from Brannigan later, huh? Thank you, senor. Yes, well... Uh, but he owe big boy money, too. Oh, really? Well, same work. I'll give you some money for your friend. Here. When he comes, you give him. I send for him. Bad day for fishing. Ship's gone before sundown. Why you no like me, sweetie? Oh, I, I like you all right, but it, it, women just don't belong when I got they, they they bring bad luck. At least they like sweet. <laughs> Come on. 
What's this? Just a picture of my sweetheart and, and my mother. They're both dead. I want to go back. Oh, no, no, no. We got to wait here for Mr. Aleppo. Hey, Lou. Why don't you take your friend's money and look for it? Domingo! Domingo! Here is big boy now. Here. Here's the 15 shillings that Brannigan owes you. He pay me too. Come out buy a drink. No, thanks. I've got to wait here. I'll buy one bring back the bottle for you. No, no, I don't want to come back. I don't want a drink. Maybe he waits for a woman. Yes, I wait for a woman. That's it. Yes. Now you go ahead. Okay, Tom. seems to be stuck. Uh, jump aboard the man fish and borrow theirs. Yes, sir. The skipper wants to use Brannigan scales. I don't believe we have one. Oh, he has one. Here it is. I'll help you. Thanks. Uh, nobody goes ashore until nightfall. There's too much work to be done aboard. Uh, now get busy up there. Oh, oh, oh Mr. Aleppo. Hello, sweet. <laughs> I didn't know you and Brannigan were back. <laughs> too bad he's going to lose the manfish. What? Yeah, that's what I understand. The uncle's down at the magistrate right now. Getting paper to Caesar. Oh, oh no, he, he can't do that. Uh, Brannigan, he'll get the money. Don't worry about it, sweet. Captain Peters likes you. He'll oh, give you a back. job. Oh, you're back. Where's Brannigan? Oh, I don't know. What's she doing here? Why you say that, sweet? He's back. He gave me this. Real gold. Hey, why did you have to say that? Hey, you know she's been in love with him for a long time. Well, I've got to go. Oh, no. uh, Mr. Galepo, I, I want to talk. Uh, you stay here. I, I want to talk to you alone. All right, sweet. Come on, let's Come. go here. Man, uh, that's enough for today. See you in the morning. Cool, boys. in town. So's your girl. Listen, when he gets back, tell him I'm waiting for him. 
And tell him I want to see him tonight. Yes, I'll help you ashore. Sunrise high and the world is away. And the fisherman cry good fish for the day. stuff is real, Swede. Be sure it isn't stolen. Oh, well, you know Captain Brannigan and me. Look, Swede, I'll give you 300 for it. If Brannigan's got more, I'll buy it. If he hasn't, he'd better pay Bianco. Hey. 
Yeah, but you ain't gonna say nothing to the uncle. I'm only interested in my own business, Swede. Where's Captain Brannigan? I can only get 300 pounds for this stuff. He's gone. He's taken everything and he's gone. You see, I might. He's gone, he's taken it. But the ship is yours now, sweet. The ship and everything on it. Brannigan promised it to you. I heard him, I'm your witness. I'll tell everybody it's his ship. He'll go to the registry office at Nassau and put it in his name. You too, Alita. All of us. If we leave now, tonight we'll be there in two days. Oh, no. Captain Brannigan ain't run away. If he had you to follow him. <coughs> yes, you're right. That's very clever of you, sweet. Very clever of him. But we must leave now, tonight. Oh, oh, oh. Captain Brannigan ain't gone. He'll come back. He won't come back. I mean, why should he? Why should he? He's taken all the treasure. Well, I don't care about the treasure. Me and the manfish stay here. Be reasonable, sweet. Why can't he be reasonable? Why should you stay here if he's not coming back? The manfish stay here. Where's Brannigan? I don't know. Sweet, where's your captain? Well, I don't know. He's gone. He's gone to Nassau. They're lying. Where could he hide? I demand the search. He's not here. He's not here, I tell you. He's gone to Nassau. He robbed me and went away. Then I take possession of the boat with this magistrate's order.
Where is the other tank? There's nothing down there. Too. Oh, me? No, oh, of course not. Then why are you running off me? Oh, I don't know. He owed me money, that's all. Yes, he told me he owed you. I forget. He told me to give you this. Uh, well, Mr. Bianco. Mr. Bianco. What is this, uh, I got this for you. Here was Captain Brandt. All I wanted was my money. The Caesar order is yours. What? The man is yours to do as you like with. <laughs> you mean you're, you're not going to take away the ship? No, Swede. It's yours. You have the order. You own it. Good luck, Swede. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Hey, Domingo! Domingo! Hey, hey big boy! What is it, Sweden? Hey, hey, it, Sweden? Did you hear what he said? He, he said I'm the new captain of this ship. Hey, will you guys stay with me? Sure! sure. Huh? Come on, let's go! <laughs> oh! <laughs>
things all right now. I'll take over. Okay, Captain. <laughs> Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.